Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I got a real fun project here, a little do-it-yourself uh, solar generator, portable, very lightweight, because we're using the, uh, and this is going to be a smart system as well, because we're using the, the Chen's 12-volt, uh, 100-amp-hour smart battery that can be monitored on your uh, phone with a Bluetooth app. We're going to use this uh, 300 watt uh, Best Tech pure sine wave inverter. And we've got it run out right now to a, a 100 watt panel that'll be part of the portable kit. So, all the tools we're going to need to make this happen are right here just a drill, a couple pliers, one wrench for the battery terminals couple little terminals that I used to uh, splice onto here and uh, one of the uh, MC4 uh, crimp kits right there and this is only going to take a few minutes and it's super simple and it's exactly what's going to work for our purposes for having a little portable generator that we can move it to wherever we want super lightweight the whole thing will come in at uh, right about 30 pounds so I'll show you what I did and how it looks all together. There's only one, two, three, four components to this system. It's just going to be the battery, the inverter, the uh, poly tank to hold it in, which is real sturdy. It's a husky, uh, super stiff uh, container, and one solar panel, and we've got 20 foot of lead coming off to the solar panel, so this can be like left in the back of your car like it is here or you could you know move it out to your campsite put it in your tent outside your tent whatever this is waterproof so it can be outdoors if need be and okay I'll show you what it looks like all put together and what I did I'm gonna run some wires through uh, the wall there and make it look nice and tight so stand by and here we go and just for demonstration purposes, uh, that container is in the back of my car at the moment. And I'm going to put it together in there, but here's that 20-foot uh, lead coming off the solar panel just so I can test it and see. And I'll use the app. I'll show you what that looks like in a couple of minutes. It tells me exactly what's coming in off of that panel. I am foregoing a charge controller, which I wouldn't recommend, but since this is a smart battery... Uh, I'm going to do it, and I monitor it closely enough to where uh, I'm not going to have to worry about it overcharging, but it has self-protection in case that was to occur. So since I field tested this and everything works uh, the way I thought it would, and it's just fine, um, now that I've got the battery set in the container, and I've got it encased in the uh, one-inch uh styrofoam plastic kind of casing that came with it's really stiff that's how the battery was shipped it's perfect to put in here act as a little shock absorber it's covered all the way around and on the bottom too this is over an inch thick and nice and sturdy so one of the things that i want to do first is i'm going to go ahead and just drill in through the side walls here just big enough to insert that 10 gauge wire through. I'm going to take the uh, battery terminals off or the, uh, ad the clip adapters there. I'm going to take those off. Just going to drill a couple of holes big enough to feed those wires through and then I'll refasten them up there. And then the other wires are uh, the inverter wires coming off. But I've got it so I can just tuck the inverter in here. I can use it in there or I can I have enough extra I can put it on top. I'll show you a couple of the different configurations. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and drill those holes, get that set up, and the rest will go together real quick. This is super, super simple. It's not taking very long at all, and it's working great. So here you can see I've drilled through the side wall just enough. I mean, it's a tight squeeze, but that's what I wanted, just tight around that 10 gauge going in there. Put some new uh, terminal fasteners on both sides 
and got the uh, inverter tied in too. And what I wanted to do was just leave, the reason I did it like th this is I just wanted some uh, quick release MC4s on the ends here. That way for traveling, you know, I can stash everything in there, run the solar panel out real quick, just plug it in and it's gonna go. So that's where we're at there. And of course, one of the things I love about using the, the smart uh, lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, besides being extremely lightweight and easy to tote around with all your equipment in this thing, uh, you can monitor it with your phone. So uh, there it is, 59% full, shows you the voltage and that it is 100 amp hour capacity. Come over here, you can see I'm getting one and a half amps in right now. It's of course uh, cloudy, which it usually does for filming purposes. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you know, just at a glance, there you go. You got the status of everything that's going on uh, in your contained unit, which is just so convenient. And then there's the four cells, individual four cells. Uh, showing what they're reading. This is just the app which I've covered on uh, earlier videos of how convenient that is and it's one of the reasons for my purposes I'm able to eliminate a charge controller because I really only want to charge this battery up to oh about 80 percent and I'm going to just cycle it uh, between 80 and about 25 percent and I can always keep an eye on it uh, with this so not a problem for me. So anyway, I hope this gives you all some ideas on how you can make your own uh, portable generator and just how easy it is. I mean, this just couldn't have been easier. And there it is. Plug into there. Got power. Couldn't be easier. Do it yourself. Not very expensive. Took about three tools to make this whole thing come in. So it's all good to go. And as a fitting finale, the sun is hitting the panel just perfect right now, just for the demonstration. Getting about six amps in, filling that battery up fast. I'll get it up to about 80%, call it a day, and go rest. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one. Do it yourself. Super easy generator. All right. Aloha. Okay, that was a wrap. Let's put this thing away. Oh, yeah, it's Aloha Friday. Time for a nice cool drink on the lanai. That's what we do on Friday afternoons. Kick back on the lanai with a refreshment. All right. Catch you all later.